All right, guys, here we have a quote from the narrator describing Bob's office, really, in stave one. So we've got here, he might keep an eye upon his clerk who lived in a dismal little cell beyond. So he here is Scrooge and his clerk is Bob Cratchit, who is working away in the back office for Scrooge in his money lender's office. So let's have a little look at some of the language here. First, keep his eye upon. It's clear that he does not trust Bob. Bob has seemingly worked for Scrooge for a long time and he's given no reason to believe that he was dishonest throughout the entire novella. Bob seems the most top, top guy, absolute stand-up bloke, proper honest, got some with his job, even thanks Scrooge for the little money that he gets. Yet Scrooge, for some reason, feels the need to keep his eye on him. And I, I think this is about criminalising the working class. A lot of the wealthy believe that just kind of genetically, inherently, all right, the working class were criminals. Bob absolutely wasn't, but that still doesn't stop Scrooge keeping his eye upon him. It tells that Scrooge is distrusting uh, in his character, but also that particularly distrusting of his working class. Next, we've got his clerk, and we've got this possessive pronoun implies that he owns Bob. He's kind of his boss, but also his owner here. He has so much power over him. And then we've got the description of well, where Bob works. We've got dismal, which means uh, miserable. Um, uh, it also suggests a lack of light. And if we see throughout this text, in throughout literature and the Bible and everything else, that light symbolises hope. Dismal, the fact there's a lack of light, suggests there's a lack of hope for Bob. Little, again, emphasises the poor working conditions, that diminutive there. And then again, talking about lacking hope, cell implies imprisonment. It could mean that simply Bob is trapped in Scrooge's employment or probably in a much bigger sense, Bob and incorrect, all working class men like him are trapped in a cycle of working class poverty and cannot escape. They can never hope to escape poverty and they are trapped in it. And that's why Bob's working conditions are seen as a cell. Um, a few more quotes there link into that and show you kind of Bob's bad working conditions and bad pay in the link quotation box and a little bit down there about the criminalisation of the working class and even a bit of phrenology there for you um, in the context box in black at the bottom.